boy, I don't even know where to begin with this one. Let me tell you. The Dolphins can open up their stadium to everybody. But even though they're allowing only about 13,000 fans into the stadium for, you know, the next coming weeks, the whole state of Florida is just a mess, honestly. What about the Titans? They haven't played in a couple weeks. Um, players have been practicing and stuff like that when they aren't supposed to be practicing. You know, because of 16 people, as of my knowledge right now, testing positive for COVID-19. Why are you guys practicing? You should not be doing that. Go home, go quarantine. You had the week off. Go quarantine for a little while, at least 10 days. You know, because another you still got to try and practice and stuff like that. Bill O'Brien has been fired. Bill O'Brien has been fired. Who's going to be the Texans head coach now? Who's going to be the new GM? Where's Bill O'Brien going to go? And it definitely ain't going to be anywhere near J.J. Watt. Let me tell you that. Because J.J. Watt said, okay, let's revolt against Bill O'Brien. Let's just say we, we're we not going to play for this guy. We're not going to play for him. We're not going to play for him at all. What the, like He's a bad coach. Because, I mean, he is a bad coach. And he was a bad GM. This was just awful, awful situation. What about those? What about that football team up in Washington? Well, Kyle Allen is the new star. Dwayne Haskins, you sucked, bro. You didn't do very good the last three weeks. You're getting benched, kiddo. You're getting benched. And somehow, some way, Stephon Gilmore tested positive. See, for COVID-19, he has coronavirus. How? I have no idea. But this is all today. This is all stuff from today. We haven't even talked about the games for this week yet. Let's talk about them real quick. Um, first up on the docket, finally a Thursday night game worth watching. The Bucks taking on the Bears. Two teams that are 3-1. and one. The rematch, Nick. Foles versus Tom Brady. Y'all remember that Super Bowl from a couple years back, Super Bowl 52, when good old Nick Foles led the Eagles to a championship over the Patriots in a tightly contested game. What a game that was, and a very interesting storyline for this game right here. It should be a good one. I will be watching this game on Thursday. Um, so yeah, what about Sunday, of course? Sunday is always a good day for football, <laughs> let me tell you. Um, the key matchup on Sunday night, unfortunately, is the Minnesota Vikings, who are 1-3, taking on the undefeated Russell Wilson-led Seattle Seahawks. I mean, Russell Wilson is leading the charge out there. And then on Monday night, Monday night is going to be the Chargers and the 49ers. No, the Chargers and the Saints, actually. My bad. Chargers and the Saints. Um, honestly, don't really care for this matchup at all. It's the Chargers. They're one and three right now, not doing good. So, yeah, I don't really care for this matchup. Um, but, yeah, the noon window. Noon window is not looking pretty. I did say last week or in the last couple videos that week five was not going to look pretty, and it does not look pretty aside from a couple matchups. Uh, Bills Titans is the big one. I mean, again, I don't know how the Titans are going to fare. I mean, they, they have to play this game. They're, they're just not. There's no way the NFL is going to be trying to move things around anymore. I don't think. I mean, they 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 can, if need be, if if Corona starts ravaging, you know, a team like the Titans, like they did the Titans, or they might just add an extra week. But I don't think, you know, things are going to you know really be affected too badly it'll be bad but i don't think it'll be as bad as like you know the nba just suddenly canceling their season doing a 
a, a rather worthless bubble, I might add, as far as seeding games goes. Not, not the actual playoffs. I'm talking about the seeding games. Yes, I'm still mad about that. I will always be mad about that because there was no reason for that. We could have just started the playoffs. Like, you had to... That, that's off topic. But the Bills and the Titans, you know, Josh Allen's looking to continue his dominance out there. He's looking to keep the AFC East lead wrapped up and in a nice little bow. And the rest of that Bills offense is looking pretty good. I mean, the Bills defense is looking pretty good too. The offense can be something. And the Titans, the Titans really haven't seen too much for the Titans aside from Monday night, um, the first week of the season. So can't really tell you too much about them. Like these, the rest of these matchups don't really do too much care for them. Um, but there is another game in that noon window that might be interesting. It just depends on how things go, and that's the Raiders Chiefs. How will the Raiders bounce back, and can they stop? You know, this high flying Chiefs offense. Can they stop the defense? Because the defense for Kansas City can get to you, and the Raiders had trouble last week. You know keeping their car protected so if the, if the Chiefs get to them it's going to be a wrap it's going to be a wrap for Derek Carr I guarantee you but yeah the other games in the new window are just not aesthetically pleasing like the Ravens they're probably going to beat the Bengals let's just be real uh, Jags Texans again what in the world's going on down there in Houston you know don't really care Falcons are at home against the Panthers there's no Christian McCaffrey. The Falcons are not good. They continue to blow leads. Nothing to see there. Nothing at all. Cardinals, Jets. The Jets are awful. Just an awful team. And the Steelers, they're finally getting to play again. You know, they should have been playing last week. They didn't have any positive COVID testing results. That was all Titans. So they might beat up on the Eagles. They were, they were well rested. They might beat up on some Eagles because the Eagles are not good either. What about the Washington football team? Not even close to good. Trash. That's why Kyle Allen is getting the start. And the Rams, Rams are looking to keep that momentum up, I'm telling you. What about the 49ers? 49ers are looking to bounce back after a devastated defeat. I don't know how the injuries are going uh, right now, but it's not looking pretty right now for the Niners. But... If things go well this week, they should be able to take care of the Dolphins. They should be able to. And that game starts, the, and that 49ers game starts the late games, which I will unfortunately have to talk about because there's not a lot here to show. And really the big one is the Colts, the Browns, the number one defense in the NFL, the Colts. Taking on those Browns who have finally gotten their act together and are three and one should be an interesting game. I'm gonna keep my eye on that game, of course. Um, the other, the other game before I talk about um, the unfortunate one um, is the Broncos Patriots. Again, Stephon Gilmore is out. Cam Newton still out. Who in the world is going to start? Is going to be Stidham or Hoyer? Um, my money's on Stidham because he did throw a touchdown. Brian Hoyer just did not look great. Then again, neither did Stidham. He didn't really do too much aside from that touchdown. And the Broncos are just, they're just, I mean, they got their first win last week, but that was against the Jets, baby. That was against the Jets. That doesn't prove anything. That does not prove anything. Not at all. But last and certainly not least, the game that shouldn't be here in the 325 window. That's right. The return of the, cl the clapper, Jason Garrett to Dallas. Taking on the New York football giants is my Dallas Cowboys. And oh, Jesus, both of these teams are terrible. Just terrible. Giants offensive line can't protect nobody. Cowboys offensive line can't keep he can't keep Dak, you know, in the pocket when he needs to throw. Defense is just awful. Awful. Cowboys secondary gets torched by everybody in between. Giants. 
Giants defense is awful all around. Turnovers. A plenty. Cowboys will make way too many mistakes, start out slow, and then end up, you know, having to come back from behind. That's what that's what the story's been for the Cowboys this year. Coming back from behind, or at least trying to come back from behind, and making way too many mistakes, starting out slow. All all the same stuff you hear. The Giants are just bad. Like they're just bad in general. Like you can't like, it, it's not all Daniel Jones's fault, but, I mean, he is to blame for some of it. Just like it's not it's not really Dak's fault at all. It's not. It's not really Dak's fault at all. It's everything else around him. Zeke's fumbling, too. And the Giants are just, just bad. They're winless. I don't even know how the Cowboys have a win. Well, we all know because the Falcons blew a lead, but none of, neither of these teams should have a win. In fact, the entire NFC East shouldn't have a win aside from Washington coming back and beating the Eagles. It's that bad. This division is that bad. And the fact that this game is being prioritized to most of the country over the Colts the Browns is a absolute travesty because the Colts are good this year. The Browns have defied all expectations and are good this year. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. So yeah, with that being said, everybody, I do have another video coming out on Thursday. It's going to talk about something else happening in the indoor football world. I'm trying to, you know, stay down low with it until the news comes out. But yeah, I'll see you guys Thursday. Y'all take care. Have a good day.